Hey, Auntie Crystal. Hey, you remember that guy I told you about? Yeah, I liked him. We've been dating for a while and he wanted to marry me. He liked men. Are you sure? Are you sure, sure? Yeah, I found some stuff on his phone and uh, we got in an argument. He lied about it and all kind of crazy stuff, but I should listen to you. Okay, okay, it's gonna be all right. Don't don't trip, you know. Just you gotta trust yourself. Remember we talked about having trusting yourself, right? <laughs> yeah, I I I remember he said that. I know something feels off, but I just, I just didn't know. Girl, come, it's okay. We all been there. It's all right. It's not you. Try your. I, I'm gonna take you out to lunch today. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, uh, 12 o'clock, yeah, I get my lunch break, okay, I got an hour, okay, uh, breathe, 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 I'm gonna be okay, you're gonna be able to breathe, it's gonna be okay, I got you girl, I love you, you're gonna be just fine, remember, you are worthy of love, you are worthy of love, you just gotta trust yourself, okay queen, I love you, I'll see you on lunch, okay, bye. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The importance of trusting yourself. When something feel off about a person, you just got a funny feeling in your in your stomach. They just give you weird vibes. Just they got just a weird negative energy. Just something off all the time. You try to shake it off, and it just it's still there. Yep, it's still there. It's still there, sis. Because you ain't listening to your intuition. God is trying to tell you and warn you and keep you from some mess. So, why do we ignore? Why? Why do we ignore intuition? I think, for me personally, all I can speak is for me and for the people I've seen and talked to. Um, we want to believe the best about other people. We want to believe that people have good hearts because we have good hearts. We want to believe that people want the same things we do. They have the same morals, values um, that we do. Because I wouldn't do them like that. They ain't going to do me like that. No, you don't know them. They're just having a rough time. They're just going through this. Oh, that's not them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't be the kind of person who has to learn the hard way all the time. Don't be that girl. Don't be the girl who has to be the last one to know. Mm-hmm. Don't be that girl who everybody in your ma a mama and your friend from elementary school know and can talk about it behind your back because you won't listen to nobody because you just know everything and you just got it all together. Don't be that girl. Don't be that girl who is blind, who's willingly blind. You see, you see all the foolishness. They just cutting up, embarrassing you, acting a Food cheating on you, looking at other people when you're out, just disrespectful. They ain't got no job. They ain't got no character. They just foul. They just stink. They just the stench in them. They come, you just like ooh, ooh, boo, boo. Because just the whole aura is nasty. Like, don't be that person. In, you don't have to be that person. That person is a choice because you have eyes, you have ears, you have a heart, you have a brain. Like just to be real, like I don't, we don't have time. I don't have time to sit here and be like, oh well, no, because I've been there and oh well will be like wasting you eight years or wasting you 20 years or having you with somebody who has no intention of loving you the way you love them one who has no intention of being faithful to you being honest with you or being transparent with you you know 
have it thinking that it's not a big deal or that, you know, they just need more time or just making excuses for people. Making excuses for why you're not trusting your intuition. Making excuses for ignoring the red flags. No, that's going to cost you more than anything because it's like, you know, you know something ain't right, but you try to make it right. Well, I don't, I, well, I haven't caught him cheating. Even though he had his phone and uh, he don't want to sleep with me no more. And uh, he never got time. He's busy all the time. Well, what do you need? You need to catch him. What? <laughs> what is it? It wasn't me. <laughs> you know, catch a red hand is sleeping with a girl next door. Like, do you need that? Do you need the shaggy? The 1990s shaggy experience. It wasn't me. <laughs> so we can, because <laughs> people like that, they will still say it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Oh, that was my, you know, my, my cousin, oh, my, my, <laughs> the one who looked like me, people used to think we was twins, you know that? And, um, they, we used to get confused all the time. But then he moved far away, but he came back to visit. And even though you thought it was me, and I answered when you called my name, we used to play around like that all the time. And you'd be like, oh, you know, I mean, you're right. You know, I knew you were faithful. I knew you was a good man. I knew you was a good man. <laughs> I knew my mama was lying. I knew my sister and everybody that loved me was telling me wrong. And you, you, don't, don't job. <laughs> I knew you loved me, boy. I knew I was just imagining things. <laughs> you ready to get married? You had some babies. <laughs> mm -mm. Don't be out here looking like a fool. God did not create you to be out here looking like that. You're you're not out here by yourself, and that's what I I love about just knowing and loving yourself. When you are in touch and in tune with yourself, you will be able to listen to those signals. Something is not right. Man, he ain't calling me. He, something is going on. I haven't caught him doing nothing, but mm -mm, something is off. Check his phone. Check his phone. Check his phone. Check his phone. Like, you don't have to have evidence. You, the evidence is in you. The evidence is in you. All you need is that. So I don't feel right. Time to go. That's all you need. And that's all you need. Stop thinking that you need like a, <laughs> like a Judge Judy, you know, court date provide your evidence to lay out everything in your arguments to get a verdict before you make a decision about somebody stop being scared stop being scared to believe the truth about people stop being scared to start over like if you think about it life is just just a bunch of resets like, man, I made that bad decision. That wasn't smart. Let me go try again. <laughs> like, oh, that didn't, man, that was dumb. Let me not do that again. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard. Like, come on now. I, I'm a single mom of seven little ones. Like, my oldest is 14. My youngest is going to be one in two weeks. So, like, that was hard. That was took a lot of thought and, like, thinking out, thinking through in me making sure I did everything to do what I could do you know to save my marriage to make sure that I was the person I needed to be that I was you know and I wasn't the one I already know because you know he's very very toxic very very unhealthy and unstable but like I didn't pay attention to the signs before we even were even romantically even thought about like that. I, like I said, I didn't even like either of my, honestly, either of my two husbands in the beginning. Um, I didn't. And I didn't even listen to that, my own desire. Crystal, you don't even like them. No. You don't have to like them because they like you. You don't have to want them because somebody says that they think it's a good idea for y'all to be together. 
my inside my heart said no way are you serious Ooh. and I didn't listen to that I let people convince me I let them convince me I let my fear convince me oh well oh I, kinda, I don't like it but maybe if we cheat maybe okay. you gotta go through all this like wait wait Ooh, but what if we rearrange some stuff and maybe make it make sense even though it don't make sense you gonna try to make it make sense Stop trying to make something make sense that ain't supposed to make sense. Some things are not supposed to make sense because they don't make sense. So when your heart says, run, girl, you better run. When your intuition says, nah, I'm a pass. Girl, you better pass because life will whoop your tail and it will t if you let it, it will teach you. But if you don't, you just keep on getting <laughs> beat. It is not funny, but like, I think we just are so used to just moving and doing stuff that we don't take a lot of time to sit and think. We don't take a lot of time with ourselves. What do I want? Does this person make me happy? Does this person add to my life? If I were to have kids with this person, would I be happy or proud to say that my children turn out just like them? Or is the thought frightening? I mean, because you can't take that back. You can't unmarry someone. You can divorce them, but you can't unmarry them. You can separate for someone, but you cannot make them not your child's father anymore. You see what I'm saying? once you know you make those decisions they're made and yes you can heal yes you can grow but that's still a part of your story and you'll still be there and no it doesn't have to you know be like a harmful or like a traumatizing thing if you heal but i'd rather you avoid it than you have to heal from it you know what i'm saying so let's just get to the point where we are learning how to trust ourselves again and i have a video about trusting yourself and why we don't trust ourselves um because you believe that you're going to make bad choices all over again because you believe that you've made bad choices and then you made bad choices in the past and so you think that that means that you're going to keep making them in the future and that's a bad way to think about it because we all make bad mistakes we all make mistakes and if you let that mistake define your whole life, then you're going to live in fear your whole life. And let me tell you, some of the worst mistakes I made were out of fear. Fear of being alone. Fear that nobody would want me. Fear that, you know, this was my last chance. Oh, if I don't do it now, then I might never do it. I might, nobody might ever want me again. Fear will make a fool of you. Like, for real. Fear will just have you out here looking stupid, doing the most, thinking that you're in love. When you ain't in love with that person, you don't even like them. You don't even like them. They don't even take a shower. They don't have a job. Everything about them is no. What you like is the idea of you being happy. The idea of you having your hap happy, uh, your happy and your after, that's what you're after. But don't, don't, what am I trying to say? Don't end up with a horror story because you're trying to find happy ever after. Make sure your happy ever after is with an actual, an actual prince, a king, who's ready to do the right thing and be a man, take care of his family, have character, be faithful, be able to communicate, um, be able to take care of his mental health, his well-being, who knows how to t take care of himself first. But if he can't take care of you, if he don't got no job, he got a car, he hasn't did the fundamentals of life, how he gonna take care of you, queen? Come on now, that's not shallow. It's shallow to want somebody who's stable, who's got their life together, no, that's the wisdom. 
that's wisdom okay so stop trying to be miss miss save some your man's savior this person's savior oh he 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 will not shower but i i'm gonna give him some soap some clean underwear i'm uh i'm gonna do everything he gonna come in my house i'm gonna get a whole drawer fill it up with everything all nice and fancy i'm gonna show him how to wipe his butt You think I'm playing with you? Like, <laughs> people really be out here, like, trying to take care of a man like he's your son. He's a man. Or he's a, a grown boy. But either way, he's supposed to be able to function as a man. Like, really? Stop. Stop this, this foolishness. Trust your intuition. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. How do you trust yourself? You get new knowledge. You say, okay, everything that I was doing was not right, or this wasn't right, or this was right, this was good, that was not good. You reflect, and you see, okay, this is what I did wrong, this is what I'm doing right, I'm going to keep doing the right stuff. And I'm going to stop doing what I know is not the right, I already been there, done that, wasted too much time. I'm going to stop making the same mistakes because it's, it's dumb to keep making the same mistakes when you know that they're getting you the same result. So step one is getting new knowledge. Um, number two, I would say get a mentor. Um, some new knowledge. You can read books. You can watch YouTube too. Get a, a mentor, someone who who has some knowledge either through success or failure I think we don't we fail to realize that people who fail have something to teach us the, the way not to do things <laughs> hey. so there's two ways you can learn from people's successes and from people's failures and if you put those together girl you're gonna be all right okay because you got both sides so you got a whole picture just like yes yes so get a mentor let them teach you listen and listen to people who love you who care about you stop avoiding them and ignoring them and trying to do everything yourself so that's number three stop thinking you can do you have to do it all well i have to get up do this by myself i gotta get the information for myself i gotta get the knowledge for myself well you have people around you or you should have healthy people around you who love you who care about you and who will give you good advice Hey, this friend, you know, she, she, as she said, she's my friend, but she do this and sometimes she talk about me and she don't really celebrate me or my boyfriend. Uh, he be acting funny sometimes or he might do this or do that. Oh, okay. Well, I, I see this. Okay. I see this, sis. And listen, hear what they got to say, you know, be objective. If what they got to say is good, you know, it's probably right. Then listen. Why well, we think we can't listen to nobody? Especially people who love us. I know we might have, you know, our con little conf conflicts here and there. But if someone loves you and you know that they, deep down, they care about you, they may not say or give the advice in the way that you want to hear it. But most nine out of ten times, they're going to be telling you the truth. So you have to be able to filter through all the negative, all the other stuff that they may come with it. And listen. Because sometimes that may be all that you have. And if I would have listened, I would have avoided an eight-year hot mess. Hot mess. Hot, hot, steaming mess. Okay? So, yes. Listen to yourself. Trust yourself. Because you ain't going to lead yourself astray. I mean, like... Who better than you to trust you? As long as you ain't like on no drugs or nothing or like, you know, you kind of great. <laughs> like, you can trust yourself because you know you want the best for yourself. You know that in your heart of hearts, when you put aside all your fears, put all your, side, all your doubts, put aside all the trash and all the negativity, that you want the best for yourself. And that you, if you could choose the best for yourself, you would when you're thinking logically and clearly and not out of fear. So that would be my fourth. Get rid of fear. Get rid of fear. 
How do you do that? Girl, you was lying to me. Okay. I will have someone to value me. Someone will value me. Someone will love me. And I will not waste not one more second in the presence of those who despise me and use me and mistreat me to my face just so that I can have company. I'd rather be alone. And I will learn how to be happy alone. Will I like it all the time? No. Will it feel good all the time? No. But better to be alone than in the presence of someone who treats you like crap or who doesn't deserve you. Remember I told you about that Thanksgiving story? I'll put it um, up here. Thanksgiving dinner. Broken foot. Just have a new a newborn. He's about six months old probably. I'm cooking Thanksgiving dinner. I got a whole husband. I don't even call him that because he ain't worried to be called a husband. I'm in a wheelchair because I can't walk because my foot's, my fibula is broken my foot. And so I, I can't even walk on crutches. So I'm in a wheelchair cooking Thanksgiving dinner by myself. Did he lift a finger to help? Absolutely not. Did I kick his butt out? No. Because I was afraid to do it alone. I was already doing it alone. <laughs> and so we give people so much credit and so much power. I was already doing it alone. Taking care of all the, fi you know, handling all the finances. Uh, doing all the shopping, making sure that every kid, all the kids had what they needed. I had what they needed. He had what he needed. Managing everything. I was already doing it alone and I stayed for years because I was afraid to be alone I was already alone emotionally unavailable he was emotionally unavailable sexually unavailable like what was I doing I was holding this whole thing together and by literally by, by a string and so trust yourself you will never regret trusting yourself but you will regret ignoring your intuition. Hoping the best about someone even though they ain't showing you nothing worthy of any hope. Move on. Love yourself. Move forward. Dry your tears. Why are you moving? But love yourself, queen, and trust yourself. Because you're worthy of trust. You've earned your trust. Maybe you've... Maybe you got to own your dress back, but yes, queens. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And this video was um, requested by one of my subscribers. I think her name is Vernell. So shout out to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're here, getting all this good content, and you haven't subscribed, it don't cost you nothing to support. It don't cost you nothing to show some love by subscribing, leaving a comment, and that notification bell. All that helps me to reach more women with this message that can help save someone's life, save people time, okay, teach them how to love themselves, so yes queen, love yourself again, love yourself again, love yourself again, the kids are asleep, that's all I'm saying, they're quiet, love yourself again, girl why you tripping, love yourself again, yeah. I love you queens if you need help the love yourself first series on Amazon if you need some help on if that man is the right one for you he doesn't love you if on Amazon uh, 10 signs he's not in he's not serious about you and is just wasting your time this will save you <laughs> a lot of time I wish I had this book to read a long time ago. But get yourself a crown. Mm -hmm. Put it on. Wear it around your house. Wear it to the grocery store so you can know and remember who you are. So when you feel like doubting yourself, you be like, wait, wait, I'm a queen. I'm going to listen to me because I know what's best for me and I'm going to do what's right for me. Well, me and God, we good. We good. I love you, queens. So join the Academy, Crystal Laughter Academy. The link is in the description. Books are in the description. Join me on IG, and I'll see you next time.